this lesson, we will discuss charges which you can add on a contract, ticket or project. These charges will be for routine activities which aren't covered under your default contracts. Uh, like the uh, onboarding of a new workstation or shipping. To set these charges, we will have to go to uh, admin. So if you go to the hamburger menu right here in the top corner and click on admin, the admin menu will open. Right now, we are going to finance accounting and invoicing and expand it. And we will select billing codes. So click here. In the billing codes, we will go to the second tab, Material, and click on it. And as you can see in this tab, there is a column called Quick Charge. In this column, you can see which material codes are, are also available as Quick Charge. So you can see by the check right here that the onboarding new workstation is a Quick Charge for us. And shipping is also a Quick Charge for us. So if you want to make something a quick charge, what you can do is you can go to the hamburger menu from the uh, 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 material code and click on edit. And as you can see, a new screen pops up. In the screen, you can select the check mark right here, available as a quick charge, and uh, make sure it's activated. After it's activated, you can click on save and a quick charge will be made available automatically. So um, a lot of customers will uh, have the default prices for these quick charges. So for us, onboarding new workstation is 50 and uh, in costs and it's uh, in price, it's one, 110. Um, but there are some customers which will have um, a custom type of rates. So for these type of customers, we want to edit the contract. Because uh, when we edit the contract, we can make different quick charge prices available for them by default. So to edit a contract, go to the hamburger menu right here and click on contracts. Search for the uh, company you, uh, you, you want to edit a contract for and click on search right here. So I want to edit it for our own company right now in the contact based billing contract. So I will click on contact based billing and as you can see I have the contract open right now. In the contract there is a uh, tab right here on the uh, left hand side called charge defaults. So when I click on it as you can see I can set new defaults which are different from the system defaults we just set. In the uh, defaults right here if I want to add one let's say for example for the shipping. The shipping in our defaults is zero as you can see uh, for costs and price. But for this customer, I want to set a different price. So the costs for this customer to ship something will be $10 for us, but we want to charge them $15 so we uh, make a little bit of something from it. And it's billable to this customer. So we will check this box right here and click on save. After we've checked this box, the rates for this customer are ready. So let's say I have, uh, I first have a ticket which is not associated with the contract at all. And I want to add a charge, like we just uh, made the quick charges in the material codes. I can just go to these icons right here and select the charge one, or you can use the shortcut Alt for buttons. So when I click on charge right here, I can select the material code I want to use. So right now I want to use um, the shipping code right here. I can select it and click on save selection. If you want the, the list for material codes, you can click on this icon right here and it'll open right up. And as you can see, um, it'll take the default system charge settings. So the unit cost will be zero and the unit price will be zero. And I click, can click on save and close to save them for this ticket. So I have another ticket which is associated with the contract we just edited. And this ticket um, to add a quick charge, I will again click on the uh, icon in the, in the left, uh, 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 left side of the ticket. And I will go to material code. And when I click on this icon, I can select from all the material codes and I will select shipping. I will click save selection. 
And as you can see, instead of these arrows, it now charges um, $15 to the customers. And it'll cost us $10 in our, um, uh, for us internally. And I can just click save and close again and it'll be charged to that customer.